Kayla in a hat? You ain't never seen that before. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Kayla back on Vibe with Kay. No, it ain't healthy, but sometimes I can't help it. Hey, you know I'm selfish. Tell me it's nobody else's. No, it ain't. And in today's video, I am going to give you guys a Q&A. And I'm basically going to be answering questions I've been ignoring and um, just questions I've been getting a lot recently. I don't blame you guys for asking me because if I was on the other side and I was a supporter of somebody else that I really watch and you know, whatever the case may be, you know, I'm going to ask that question. <laughs> And that's just that on that. So today, I'm going to basically answer you guys' questions that you guys got from me. And I just said, ask me some deep questions. I'm tired of what's your favorite color. Like, do y'all not see what my favorite color is? Red? Like, okay. Y'all get the point. I'm excited to film this video because honestly, who? let me not get emotional just yet. But I'm excited to film this video because I know after this video, blessings on blessings i'm literally gonna move up from here it's just gonna be like it's just gonna be like i don't know how to explain it like it's just the next step to where god is gonna take me another thing before i get into this video if you're watching this and like you're really not a supporter it's okay you know you can subscribe you know give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below so you can be a part of the vk gang because if you're not the gang you just lame period um what I have to say is like, basically, if you're not a supporter or you just here, you know, to be nosy. What are you doing? But let me just say one thing to you or to anybody that's watching this. What might be tea to y'all, for real, for real. What might be tea to y'all is a testimony for me. You guys might really want to know what's going on in my personal life and like the insides and the details and like, oh my gosh, this happened. Like, no. That's tea for you. But baby, there's gonna be a testimony in the long run for me. So I'm just letting y'all know that because that's that's really what it is, okay? Anyways, I gotta show my little hair off because I don't know what's going on with this. Should I take it off? My, my hair's a bit messy because of that hat. So first things first, um, I wanna share with you guys a uh, message that I've gotten on one of my recent videos. I don't know this person. This right here, like, you guys' comments I really take into consideration. I like every single one of them, and I do comment on them. Sorry if my voice kind of sounds a little shaky. I'm an emotional person, and that's that, okay? She said, I'm so proud of you. You had me crying in this video. I'm 17 also, and I love your videos. Me and my mom both noticed you look completely different. Your skin is glowing more, and your eyes look a little bit better, not being rude. So a lot of you guys may know, like, my eyes look like I didn't sleep. <laughs> But that's just naturally how my eyes are. Like right here, these creases or whatever are like naturally how my eyes are. I didn't really take offense on this. Oh, and then she goes and says, it it just looks like you're tired and stressed, but now you have a different glow now. Basically, my supporters can see things that I cannot see. So in my, if I'm coming on camera and I don't feel too well or whatever, like you guys are gonna be able to see that, you know? So basically she was trying to say like, you know, you looked it tired, you looked it stressed, but It's my heart. It's my heart telling me, okay? My heart is just going crazy right now. But she's basically saying like, you you look tired, you look stressed, but now like, I can see like, you're really happy and you're glowing. And I really love that message because during that time, like I was kind of going through something. So yeah, thank you for that. Since we're already gonna, since we're already getting a little emotional here, I'm just gonna go on with the first question, which is saying, how are you doing mentally? Oh my gosh, yeah. My mental health is like a roller coaster. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like, it's a roller coaster. Like, I don't show it on camera, but this video is gonna be a deep video. So, however, I feel is gonna show. And you guys can basically tell through my voice. Um, my mental health has been a roller coaster. It's been like really good at times, and then it's been like really bad at times not too bad but it's been like the lowest i've ever been i'm so i'm super glad that i have like people that are supporting me i just want to thank them if they're watching this video but yeah right now it's doing pretty good 
I'm mentally stable enough to talk about this situation. When are you going to move out? I'm 17 and I'm not one of those girls or whatever that you know want to move super super fast i'm not the type to really move too fast when it comes to you know adulting and stuff i want to make sure that i'm getting the the most out of being a child okay i know that next year i'm literally going to be 18 and that's considered a grown adult so you know i'm gonna take those precautions slowly but you know make sure i'm on my stuff you know, i do not plan on moving out anytime soon i will be staying home during my college years just because I want to save money save my money so I can be able to get my own apartment or whatever later on but that is my plan um I don't plan on moving out oh my gosh I'm seeing 11 11 again it's a sign you ever have a feeling that you want to have sex or whatever um I think I'm old enough to talk about this okay because I'm 17 like this is reality for some teenagers so it is what it is if you're an adult watching this. I think I have had those like, you know, like I've thought about it. I'm not even gonna cap and say like I didn't like, oh my gosh, you know, I have thought about it, but that was like long time ago. And right now, no ma'am. And if you know me, I'm waiting till marriage. I still have to work on, you know, the lust part and the things that I'm dealing with. Dealing with. Yeah, I'm waiting until mar marriage for, you know, the business. Um, next question is, what career are you interested in? I'm interested in business. I know that's pretty typical for YouTuber, but that's really something I've been passionate about. I really love kids and I really want to go in the business field. So I do have some plans on like doing a business that has that pertains to kids, starting on my own hair care line, you know, just stuff that I'm doing now but just taking it to the next level so here is the part that you guys all been waiting for and I've gotten like so many right now and it's saying like what's my relationship update are you and your boyfriend still together are you with Isaiah all of the well like not all of the questions are about him but it's quite a lot are we still together and if you're a real supporter then you know like you know, like we filmed videos together and stuff. Sadly, we are not together. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask why. And let me think about this first. Not think about it, but I don't need to think about it. I know what to say. It's just like, I gotta, you know. Okay, the reason why we are not together is because we were literally at different levels of maturity. Um, I'm not going to go too into detail with that because there's a lot of things that led to that. But I'm just going to leave that at that. I don't want to go into personal business. That is why. Okay. This will be the last time I'm speaking on it. Um, I've really ignored this question a lot. Like I've gotten this question a lot. This that question has stopped me from doing okay that question has stopped me from going live honestly a lot of things but that question Anyways, that question has stopped me from going live, um, avoiding answers like on my polls and stuff. Like when I used to, well, I still do it. Like I'll be like, oh, ask me questions. That question would come up a lot and I wasn't ready to, you know, talk about it. It's still hard to talk about, obviously. It does hurt. I'm not even gonna see your ink. It can only take one situation out of your life or whatever you're going through to make you realize so many other things. I'm not mad. I'm not mad that I went through this. And I'm definitely happy, even though like, you know, I'm sad about it. I get sad about it, but I'm definitely happy it happened to me. And I learned that through God, honestly. This right here is something that's gonna lead me on to the next chapter. I needed to forgive 
and you know just move on from it so I can you know move on you know God has something in store for me and I wouldn't he doesn't put me in through situations for nothing that was literally to teach me a lesson or something whatever it is for in the long run I'm gonna be happy that you know that happened God really helped me throughout the situation you know I was literally falling I don't know it's I was literally falling but without God I probably wouldn't even be making this video right now because I was going through it for you you guys is clarification I am single I got things to do for myself I need to work on myself that doesn't mean like free for all type of thing you know no basically I'm doing me I gotta I have things that I need to do for me okay somebody has asked me what is something that happened that you think was in God's plan but realize but didn't realize it until after it happened the breakup I didn't realize like any of it was God God's plan I don't know if you guys have ever been through a breakup or anything that whatever you've been through that really like hurt you bad that is God's plan I probably I wouldn't be going through that if it wasn't for God you know like he put me in that situation and you know there's something that I probably didn't see down the line but whatever it is so caught into like my emotions and I was hurt um it was really hard for me a couple weeks after I was in my word like I was in it deeper than ever and I was just like dang like I think that basically after that situation happened God was trying to tell me like you know set your priority straight and basically put God first you can say like oh yeah I put God first but are you really reading your Bible are you like you know in his word praying worshiping and stuff and that was something that he wouldn't he wanted to tell me I was watching sermons like crazy taking dumb notes y'all I've been writing in my journal there's a lot has happened after that breakup and it was just for the better I feel much better I still have my lows you know every day is not gonna be a good day for me but you know it's been it's been hard but it's been really good at the same time you know that was definitely God's plan and I ain't gonna question what God has put me through because it's for a reason so why didn't you answer the assumptions that were in the thumbnail of the last video I'm gonna put the thumbnail right here and basically they asked about Isaiah saying like oh I don't know something it's right here but I did not answer that because I just wanted to see who is real supporter honestly I want to see if you clicking on that video just to see about a relationship or do you really watch my videos for that reason hey that's what youtubers do they clickbait okay <laughs> that's what you do so I did answer assumptions in that video I just didn't answer about him you know that was my reason why I did that you know I didn't I wasn't ready to talk about it just yet and I wanted to honestly just come and talk about it when I'm ready Since COVID how has your life been impacted the most um I've gained better relationships and I've lost them it's reality but I didn't I didn't think that was gonna happen honestly I've gotten close to some people I've gotten advice good advice from some people Wait, I've gotten closer to God my family which is so, so important to me. God will close a door to open another one I hope you guys are learning something from this video and this is not for fake this is not if you're ever going through something you can DM me, you can, you know, text me or whatever. Because I don't want you to ever. <laughs> I don't want you to ever feel like you're alone. It's honestly the worst feeling. And I don't want, I don't want anybody to feel like that. Another question is how did I get closer to God? And I've gotten closer to God by just being in his word. Honestly, I already gave advice in my, um, I gave advice on how to get closer to God in my um what is it called Christian playlist video there's other questions here but I know what you guys wanted to know I know what you guys wanted to know some girl said how can you give off 12 year old vibes when filming say 
say a cuss word. Baby. I don't know. But once I, once I tell somebody I'm a Christian or... I don't know. If you just know me, people label me as the goody-goody because I don't cuss. I don't do drugs. And I don't... You know, I'm not affiliated with that type of stuff. So you just call me a 12-year-old because I don't do that type of stuff. That makes no sense, baby. It really don't. I don't get it. It's like when you see somebody doing good or like that don't do worldly stuff, you guys call them like a younger person or they're a good person. Like what? It should be the norms. Like y'all should norm y'all should really normalize um not doing drugs, waiting until marriage, stuff like that because this society is pretty bad and i'm not trying to fall into that trap with everybody else like i'm not trying to do with every what what everybody else is doing so i mean that's pretty funny i don't take it offensive but i'm just letting you know like you know that's that's what it is what is the bible book that i always show i'm gonna show you guys the bible um the things that i've been using so i'm gonna show you guys the bibles stuff i use you know to stay in god's word um basically I have this journal right here. I just basically write down my days, you know, like a diary. Take notes from a sermon. Anything, you know, that God puts on my mind it goes up in this book, baby. Next thing I have is this daily devotional book. I was actually thinking of doing a giveaway because a lot of people really, like, love this book. I love it too, and I've inspired so many people just by posting a book. And it's crazy how like you how much you can inspire somebody by just doing one simple thing or like how much you can change somebody's day just by sending them a verse or texting them that i use it just has daily devotionals in it you know it has like the verse or whatever the scripture and then it has like some talks about it and then it has a challenge point like you know how you can use it in your personal life i really love this you can find this on amazon i don't know how much this thing is probably like no more than ten dollars um i use this niv bible for teen girls um this book has really helped me a lot because it's a book that i can actually you know comprehend like my comprehension level ain't too good but you know this book has helped me with that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below to be a part of the vk gang because if you're not the gang you is name period yeah this was definitely an authentic video so i hope you guys got what you wanted it is what it is um you know like i said what might be tea to y'all is a testimony for me you guys are going to be able to see my testimony um so now you know you're gonna see what happens next time in the next q a update you know whatever god has in store for me you know i'm gonna share it with you guys so i hope you guys enjoy it, and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i love you guys